So in this video, I'm going to show how to play some new rock groups with quarter notes on the hi-hat or whatever other symbol that you want to use. And these go right along with the songs that we've been working on, like Shake It Off and other ones too. So the first one here, and I already attached the document to your folder, uh, you'll find it there. There are six different examples here and you can mix and match them, you can play them one at a time, you can make it a big drum solo, and then finally you can create your own patterns out of them too. So uh, the first one here sounds like this, and because we're playing the quarter notes on the hi-hat, you can also just start with that, make sure you pick your tempo, make sure you know how fast you want to play. And instead of us playing eight notes like we usually do with the grooves, with the rock ones, we're just doing this here, and we're adding some basses on the snare. So the first one has some doubles, so it goes The big thing uh, that your right hand might want to do is play with the bass, right? So do so. You really want to make sure it's consistent in these examples. So you just want it to only uh, play on the quarter notes. So one, two, three, four. Well, your bass can be playing on the eighth notes too, in between on the ends. One and two, three and four. One. like that. And then of course you can speed things up a little bit. Something like that. And feel free to go around the kit too, you know, you can definitely use the ride or uh, the crash, whatever you got, you know. Just like that. So the second one is a little bit different here and they're all pretty similar but they definitely change uh, the rhythmic pattern in each one here. So this one has one, two, and three, four. And right from the start, it sounds very different too, right? So feel free to count as you're playing too at the beginning. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Just like that. is quite easy too, right? So just again, you're, you know, you can start with only your right hand playing, really consistently play to the metronome, right? start where you're comfortable. And again, it sounds really nice when it's played faster too. Here, yet again, a little different. This one has a lot of rests. So we got one, two, and three, four, one, and two, and three, four, one. Just like that. This one is really cool too, and it has a lot of space in it because of uh, all the rests, right? So in general, these groups, because your hive is not kind of uh, doing something busy like the eighth note or the sixteenth, so it's, you know, a little bit more air in it. can play around with opening your hi-hat at certain points or adding some crash to it too. You can pretty much do whatever you want with it. So something like... Something like that, right? So just feel free to um, do everything else after you got the basic uh, structure down. So the fourth one here uh, has a very um, sort of... Um, like lots of lots of space in the first half of it, but then it really fills it in in the second one. So I'll show you what I mean. So the first one, all you do is you just play one bass on one. You go one, two, three, four. That's it. One, two, three, four. But the second half is kind of on the contrary, is um, a lot more bass in there. One, two, and three, and three, and four. So definitely a lot, a lot busier. Just like that. So when you put them together, it sounds quite nice. The contrast really. Uh, sounds pleasant. Something like 
up. And again, a little faster. Something like that, right? So with all of these, even though they're really close to each other, it, uh, it depends. You get to choose which one you want to play, uh, depending on what the guitar player is doing, what the bass player is doing. Just um, go with uh, the rhythmic pattern that you feel like will fit best with whatever song you're doing. Uh, and the fifth one sounds like this. We got one, two, three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four. So every bass on, in the second half is all on the offbeat. One, uh, so one, two, and three, and three, and four, just like that. I mean, you can just play one bar pattern, right? But these are all two bar patterns. So the whole thing sounds like this. And again, you can, you know, start throwing in extra ones here and there and then change it up as you play too, as long as you know what to play in these particular ones. Again, yeah, a little faster. Just like that. And finally, the last one. This one has a lot of bass, you'll notice. So it's really, really busy. And it sounds really nice, too. So I'll break it down a little bit slower. So with this one here, for sure, you want to leave your foot uh, at all times on the pedal, right? Make sure the ball of your foot is right on the pedal and your heel is a little bit lifted out so you get a nice balance out of it. So this one sounds like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So you'll notice the bass is uh, playing on all the eighth notes except for the snare, right? And then finally the ending is a little bit uh, more room there. You just play four instead of four and. So here it is again, a little slower. And remember your hi hat, right? Um, you know, let it bounce as high as you need. You know, it's, it's going to depend on the kind of sound that you want to play and just general habits too. I do like to swing it a lot higher when I'm playing slower, and then a lot closer when the faster I get, right? So here it is again. faster too just for fun. And there it is. So hopefully you enjoy playing these at home. Uh, make sure you go through them slowly. Make sure you can really uh, get a good feel for it as you're playing them. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you next week. Bye.